Sometimes parents, to create a healthy on-ramp for conversations, um, you need to do something. And this really isn't so much a conversation. This is, this is one-sided, but I think it's pretty important. Uh, it's kind of like the advice. Earlier I talked about the difference between advice and having a conversation. And sometimes as parents, we just need to give advice. Sometimes we also need to give something else. Sometimes we just need to give an apology. Sometimes we've messed up as parents and we've blown it. And we need to go to our kids and say to them, man, I am really sorry. Will you please forgive me? I blew it in that situation or yesterday. A specific example for me was I'm teaching my daughter how to drive. She's about, you know, 14, 15 years old. It's it's winter time. I wanted to learn how to drive in the snow. And I know she can. She's driven. She's she's great. I'm right there with her. We're gonna stay on the side roads. It's gonna be fine. We're backing up out of the driveway. She's nervous. Admittedly, I understand. Yeah, she's nervous. But also as dad, I'm thinking, I'm 40 some years old at the time and what's the big deal about driving in the snow? Come on, just drive, back out. And she's like, oh, I'm kind of scared, I'm kind of scared. I'm like, back out, back out. And I don't wanna go, I don't know where I'm going. And I would just, I ended up just laying into her really loudly. It's like, you've gotta learn how to drive in the snow. Back up, back up, now put it in drive. And I'm just yelling at her and it is not helpful one bit. I mean, it was absolutely terrible. That was not the way to handle that situation. Well, I don't think we made it even down the block before we ended up back in the driveway and she was out of the car and inside. And I knew I blew it. Um, I don't know why I was getting so mad. Maybe something else was going on in my life at the time, but I didn't need to react that way. And I did. And I could have just said to myself, oh, my daughter knows that I love her. She knows that I love her. I know that was wrong. I won't do that again. But I needed to suck it up and go in, sit down on her bed with her and just say, honey, I totally blew it. I was absolutely wrong. I was really, really mean. And I didn't, you didn't deserve that. Would you please forgive me? Um, and this is a great way to model to your kids what it looks like to ask for forgiveness, to help teach them. Again, this is one of those really cool, cool moments where we can teach them what it looks like to have a relationship with God. That yes, we can admit when we've done something wrong, we can go and ask for forgiveness um, and we can start to repair that relationship. And sometimes that's what we need to do to rebuild an on-ramp to healthy conversations. And maybe there's something that you've done with your kids uh, that you're thinking to yourself, ah, that was a long time ago. That was two years ago. I'm sure my kid doesn't remember that. I still remember a time when I was about fifth grade and my dad yelled at me. I know my dad loves me. We have a super great relationship. My dad is the model of what it means to be a dad but I still remember that time. So if you've ever blown it with your kids, if you've ever acted unfairly, uh, treated them unjustly, said something mean or cruel, they remember and, and you need to give an apology. And when you do that again, you will help to start to rebuild that on-ramp to being able to have healthy conversations with your kid.